It's allergy season, so some people, <laughs> yeah, we laugh at this because we're all sneezing and coughing, and some people are reporting that their allergies may not even be as bad this year as we've seen in years prior, although it can be a little confusing with COVID kind of complicating things. So how is the pandemic having an impact on allergy season this year? You know, there, there's very little good you could say about having this pandemic. It's been horrible. But one thing that has come out of it, because of the social distancing, because of the hygiene, because of masks, we've seen several things take place to a smaller degree. For example, uh, flu in Colorado was really, uh, you know, historically low levels and the same uh, took place nationwide. We really hardly saw any influenza. And the same seems to be taking place uh, with allergies nationwide and beginning here early in our allergy season in Colorado. And that primarily has to do with masks. Uh, we wear masks in order to protect ourselves from viral particles, which are very, very small. But it turns out that masks also protect us from uh, pollens. And pollens are actually bigger particles. They are more easily blocked by masks. And so people will wind up having lesser allergy symptoms if they are masked up. Now, you may say, well, which is the best, best mask that uh, will help me during allergy season? Well, any mask, an N95 mask, a surgical mask, uh, a homemade mask, uh, typically will be very effective uh, through the allergy season. Uh, but when you get down to it, probably the most practical mask to help you during allergy season is the cloth mask because you can wash it frequently and reuse it uh, frequently. I think that um, right now we are seeing uh, an uptick in uh, trees. Soon we we will be seeing grasses, uh, pollens uh, wind up coming out and affecting us. So, you know, as we continue with using masks, I think we're going to see fewer and fewer people having the severity of allergy symptoms they've maybe had in years past.